Welcome into the latest edition of Extra Time. It is what, five to six Eastern time here on the East Coast of the US, five to midnight oh. in France. So I think we can say it, Frank. Happy birthday to you. Oh. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Do we get yeah. kick? Well, uh, oh, he gets to watch us eat cake. <laughs> yeah, we should get a kick. And should be. Yeah. Uh, we'll make a, a quick extra time for him, shall we? No, Steve. no, let's drag it on. Right. He wants uh, you it. You can do it on your own. <laughs> <laughs> Stevie, as a manager, how would you deal with a striker like Lewandowski? 36 years old, isn't scoring at the same rate last season. Um, well, it depends where you think he is. Right. If you think it's just... A little bit of fatigue and a little bit of lacking a little bit of confidence, then I think you just be frank with him and give him a break and get him back to being sharp. Because if you can get him sharp, then he will score goals. But how can you get him sharp while having a break? Well, because when he, when you give him the time off, when he comes back, obviously you take a few training sessions, but then that rest will have done, done his muscles and his brain. You know, I think we always forget I always used to say to some of the boys, you know, your soul needs a break as well. Just do nothing. Well, nothing to do with that's football. Deep. Isn't that deep? That is. Oh, it is. I, 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 I thought you were break. going to say sometimes we forget it's that like, footballers have like, a break. Get away somewhere. Forget about football. But they can't. They've got forget Copa del Rey coming up midweek, then La Liga, then the Champions Ow. League returns. In an ideal world, but you've got to figure a way out. You can't give them an advice rest. that they can't take. I'm talking in general. Well, right, well, but this is about Lewandowski. I'm talking in general. Specifically. I, listen, I, 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 you push me into general. I didn't I'm push you into general. I said Lewandowski, and then you're resting souls. No, no that's, I love that. That's the easy bit of it. Right. That's the problem. But if he's genuinely losing his legs, then where do you go? Yeah. That's that. So that you've got to figure out what it is. If it's just it's a little soft. bit of fatigue, and he needs a little rest. Yep. That's great, but if it's more than that, well, you you got a problem. Uh, I'm sure he's a big personality in the dressing room. Yeah, Frank, how do you address that as a team from a teammate's perspective if you see someone like Lewandowski struggling? Or do you address it at all? No. <laughs> no, no, no. I think I would go to him and I say, you know what? I saw you playing all, uh, throughout your career. And you have that. You have you have that feeling in your cells, in your in your in your core, and, uh, and you didn't lose it. And you're 36 years old. You're not that old. You are, you're a striker. You last year you had a great season. Suddenly you will have lost it. No, I don't believe that. It's just a, a bad timing, a bad time. Sorry, and uh, and just try to reconstruct yourself and and uh, maybe have a rest if you have the time for that. But uh, I think he needs to uh, to focus a little bit on himself and stop thinking maybe on what people are seeing be, uh, uh, around him and, and work on that. But I'm pretty sure Lewandowski can go back to his best because he's not that old. And he, he had that, like, I would say, seven months ago. 36 is quite old, Frank. Yeah. Not as old as you with your new birthday, obviously, but still. <laughs> yeah. Well, you, no, but when, 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 you see, when you see some players, when you see some players like Ronaldo, even if it's not a, a, a bigger, a, a, a big league, still scoring goals, feeling it, you see some other players, and we saw Ibrahimovic scoring goals as well, and they, it, it were, they were like 38, 39. I think it's possible. And again, it's not like we saw Lewandowski dropping little by little every year. Last year, he was at Barcelona, he was scoring goals and he was very uh, influential uh, to, uh, to, uh, to the, for the club. And I don't think you lose it like that. Suddenly you are tired, you can't run, you can't score. No, it doesn't work like that. He goes slowly, but surely, but he goes slowly. Uh, to the Venetius handball, Shaka, should VAR conversation with referee be public? People deserve to know how VAR convinced referee that it's not a handball. Yeah, I, I have to admit, I, I, initially I didn't think that those conversations should be made public, but more and more I feel like they should. Um, I remember Australia started piloting that, having yeah. publicizing those conversations. And I think they, they provide valuable insights into, into why certain decisions were made. No, we still agree with a lot of those decisions, but at least we, at least we know why, how they come to those conclusions. Uh, what did you think of the handball? Did you see it, Frank, the Venetius Jr.? Yes, I, I saw it. I think for me, what is uh, it's clear about what what they want to say about the sleeve and whatever it's the shoulder or the, the arm. What I didn't like about Vinicius Junior is the movement that he makes towards the ball, like he wants to hit the ball. 
for me, it gives me the, the feeling that uh, it's a handball and, and it's not clear that it's above the, the mark that they say uh, where it's not handball and when it's an handball. I would have said a handball for me. And I want to go back to the West Ham game and I saw the segment where Shaka was able to betray his uh, uh, goalkeeper's union uh, yeah. by saying that Areola wasn't handballed by the players. For me, it was clearly a handball. And you know, I showed it the action to my wife, but which, who doesn't know what a penalty is. She knows nothing. And when she saw the action, she said, what do you think, uh, love, about that? And she said, wow, why the guy hits the goalkeeper with his elbow? And I say, well, you know what? That's what I think. But when I see Shaka now saying that he was on the foul, well, I say, what a betrayal, Shaka. Wow. I'm, hey, so, wow. I'm so disappointed. Wow. Strong. There you are. Well, you it's a betrayal. You are upsetting That's Frank so on, on his, officially now his yeah, birthday. Now we're through a pass. What birthday. are you going to do today, Frank? That's my birthday. That's my day today. So, yeah. Yeah, what you know what? Do? What? I'm going to rest his soul. Just watch the 98 final over and over again. I don't know. <laughs> like every other day. There is my wife next to the camera. There is my wife right now next to the camera dancing and, and chanting happy birthday right no. now. And I don't know. She has maybe a surprise for me. Um, <laughs> I will see tomorrow when I'm going to wake up. We'll oh, see. Uh, hey, nice, Frank. That's very good. Don't start, Stephen. Uh, right, Stevie, is Virgil van Dijk the main sign that Liverpool is back after an off-season? He seems restored to his best after he looked dejected and absent of mind ever since the injury. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, what, good. What, what name is that? What's that? Three points, body spree. Got Stevie Nichol. There we go. Still the... Uh, still the winning is the deodorant. Oh! The deodorant. <laughs> Very good! <laughs> There you go. I would have got it. I would have got it. <laughs> no, no, that's yeah. fantastic. That's great. Oh. oh god. <sighs> Stevie, is Dan an underrated pundit? Time and time no, again, absolutely. he's proven to get his predictions spot on. Proven what? Even yeah. with the exact score, maybe Dan should be taken more seriously, Stephen. Yeah, <laughs> I believe so too. Where does yeah. that come from, yeah. Mrs. Thomas? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, she would have. <laughs> <laughs> She'd be on Stevie's side. Oh, what, what a different world. Oh, it would be. Oh, imagine you hosting, years, asking uh, me questions. Uh, you want to sit here? No. No, no. I'm very happy. What is Dan's Booner account? Uh, very you? happy. Uh, for Stevie, best finisher. But Dan. Yes, my love. Dan. Yes. Dan, are you. Are you uh, are you considered as a pundit? I thought you were an anchor man. Exactly, I'm I'm a presenter, but because I'm so what? Uh, because I'm so brilliant anchor in man. predicting the right results, the tweet was suggesting that I am a better pundit than most we have on. But uh, there we are. That's, that's their Sorry. opinion. Oh, yeah, so, so you have the right you have the right to ask your wife to send some emails to uh, to ESPN. Denise would do that. <laughs> <laughs> Denise sends me all the abuse. Uh -huh. um, Stevie, best finisher out of the four. Jota, Salah, Suarez, Fowler. Fowler. Right, not even, not a doubt. No, oh, Fowler. <sighs> Fowler. Yeah. That was a great finisher. Yeah. Yeah, Salah, yeah, Fowler. Fowler. Yeah, Fowler. Fowler, out all of them, is the most natural. Yeah. By some way, I would say. Fowler scored against you, Shaq, I Oh, many a time. Yes. Yeah. Many yeah. a time. Yeah. Who didn't? Well, <laughs> <laughs> Dan. Dan didn't. Well, Dan did. <laughs> uh, Frank, did you and Fowler cross paths? I'm sorry, did I quad? Did you cross paths with Robbie Fowler? I'm trying to think. Did yeah, he would have. Yeah, absolutely. Done, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robbie Fowler played for Liverpool. Cause he's getting yeah, old. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, 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 no, 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 no. I love Robbie Fowler. I couldn't understand his English because he's cows and I don't understand a word of what he's saying. But I love the player and he was a great player. He was a great guy to... Uh, he was a gentleman on the field, even if it was hard. And he was a very good finisher. I love Fowler like I love Steve McManaman. Who, huh? But who doesn't? Yeah, do, you know, do you know what separates them? Every goal... I don't remember ever seeing a goal Fowler scored that he actually... Looked as though he was trying. Right. It's just all natural. It just, it just flowed. He just always flowed. Was never trying too hard. He just had it. So who was the most clever player you played with during your career? But there's a little twist to this. Someone who did similar things like what Tony did before he took his free kick. It's 
sneaky. <laughs> you, you know, before, before we get to that, this yeah. Ivan Tony thing has me a little bit amused. Well, I was Why very disappointed when I saw the actual footage because I didn't see the game. And I was like, wow, he must have moved the ball miles. I, right? I, I, <laughs> I, just I was looking at that and oh, thinking, that's miles. How's, <laughs> how's that miles? How's this become so... People used to do that all the time. Yeah. All the time. And now all of a sudden it's a big debate as to whether it was legal. Oh. People do that all... I'm like... I, I, Anyway, sorry, I just had to get that no, out of no, my chest. No, no, that's fine. That's, that's had to get fine. it out of my chest. There you go. I think it's because he used the foam as well. Move the foam. People are upset about that. Oh, God. Oh, yes, I know. Yeah, that's fair enough. All right. Um, a, a sneaky player springs. Yeah, everybody would do stuff. Everyone was sneaky. Everybody would yeah. say. Yeah. Everyone would push the, push the envelope. Yeah. Frank, you agree? I agree on what? Yep, yep. <laughs> Who's there? Uh, uh, Isn't that sneaky? I didn't see the actions. So okay, perfect. Well done, Frank. Yeah, you, yeah, you brought yeah. your A game. Well, it wasn't that no, sneaky. I, 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 played, I, 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 I don't know. I was. I knew. I knew a player. He was really good at that. Was Dan Petrescu. I love watching the guy. You know, being a little bit sneaky, and he was very clever, very smart about it. I love that. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, thank you, Frank. Those Dan's are sneaky, I've found. Dan's Dan. Yeah. Uh, right. Stevie, final question. Uh, what world does Liverpool wear kits with green stripes? Oh, what world? Yeah, ugly. Green stripes? It was my more... Uh, like, how would you even just... Right. No. No. I don't... Uh, listen, in the realms of green, that's one of the best strips. Right. You had the green I candy. Had the, you had a lot of green strips. Oh, it was right. an Adidas, and right. it was rotten. Right. And not only was the strip rotten, but we couldn't win a game with it either. Oh, dear. It was horrendous. I hated it. Oh, excuses. Horrible. Oh. Uh, there you go. Uh, well, happy birthday to you, Frank. We're going to let you go now, because... Bon anniversary. I don't know if you've watched any football this weekend, uh, so that's it. Uh, ESPN FC will be back tomorrow. <laughs> be sure to join us. <laughs> it's, got, it's got a vacant look of it. No, I think, I think it's frozen, frozen now. It's frozen now. It's frozen now. It's frozen now. <laughs> <laughs> like, pull the plug. I'm gone. <laughs> I've had enough of this. What a, what a vacant look. Oh, vacant look. <laughs>